What's up, guys? Luxide here. Hope you're having a great day so far. Got some great news for you, Shiba Army. So the uh, the Layer 2 change, Shibarium, it's been kind of hush-hush lately, okay? We haven't been getting many updates, okay? So I, I'm guessing they've just been working really hard, so they haven't been able to let us know what's going on. But today, we got some news, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. And before we do, though... If you are new to the channel or haven't already, again, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell. You get notified anytime my content goes live and we make a ton of Shiba Inu content. So make sure you do so. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So Unification gave a recent update and they said that Shiba Inu's Shibarium public testing will launch by the end of this month. Hey, that's great. Now, that this is what they had originally said was going to happen. Okay, They said they were supposed to launch by the end of quarter three. And obviously, you know, September is the end of quarter three. So according to an announcement made by the developers of the level L2 network unification, that's the name of the company, the alpha and public test net of Shibarium are still scheduled to launch by the end of Q3 or shortly thereafter. Okay, <laughs> they've been a couple days, guys. The last X fund has been emitted and a week remains for final claims. The doors to the next chapter are almost wide open. Who's who's ready for the next chapter? I am. I am, guys. And if you guys aren't familiar, so Layer 2 Chain is launching on Ethereum, okay? And there's going to be some stuff that's, that's built into there. Obviously, Bone is going to be the governance token uh, for the Layer 2 Chain. There's going to be some sort of burn protocol built into it for Shiba Inu as well. So we should see a big chunk of coins burned there too. Now, it is really cool to see that the upcoming beta uh, testnet of Shibarium will also create a wider opportunity for testing to enable the identification and fixing of bugs. So it's supposed to obviously help make the layer two chain safer and more secure. Uh, the testnet will also be open to any validator wishing to join. Indeed, it is encouraging that especially for operators intending to join mainnet upon launch. So really cool stuff, guys. Now, I want to talk about price a little bit here, too. So Shiba Inu right now, at least at the time of making this video, has dipped slightly below that support line of the four zeros one two. Now, obviously, it's not far off of that. And we did have a spike in the or a dip in the, in the middle of the night that did break that as well. But what's really important to note is on these big dips that that happen here, they get bought up very quickly. They do not stick around these levels for long. And you'll see here, you know, this happened basically from 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. So this is basically a time when, you know, obviously the, the U.S. is a big holder of, of Shiba Inu. And this is at a time when a lot of, uh, you know, Americans are, are sleeping, right? So I'm guessing probably someone woke up at 2 a.m. and they're like, what the heck? And then they just, you know, aped right in. Now. This is following a, you know, a descending uh, channel right here. So obviously that's, I mean, that's not bad, but it's not what you like to see. You know, once it, when it was holding that, that 12, 12 cent line, like right, you know, right around in here and everything that was, that was a lot better looking chart, but you know, here's the thing guys. Okay. Again, if you're, if you're bullish on Shiba Inu long-term, does it really matter where the price is at right now? Not really. I mean, there's so many things coming in the Shiba Inu ecosystem that haven't arrived yet that are are likely, and again, this is not financial advice, that are likely going to pump the price that who really cares <laughs> where, the, where the, the price is at right now, okay? That's how I look at a lot of my stuff. I, I think about it, you know, in, in a three, four, five-year mindset, and I'm like, do these prices really, you know, show where the future price is going to be? Not really. If that's your answer, if your answer is not really, or no, it's not going to, you know, phase the future price. If you believe in the longevity of the project, it doesn't really matter what the price is doing right now. So you can always just look at these, obviously, as opportunities to to pick up more, uh, more supply. That's typically what I do at these times. I love cheap crypto. I don't know about you guys, but bottom of the bear market has been shown to be the best time to buy. Not saying this is the bottom, but there's a lot of bottom signals that we've seen. The prices are still cheap, even if we aren't there quite yet. But, you know, obviously that's, you know, again, not financial advice. That's kind of up to you guys. You know, obviously do your own research. Um, 
Yeah, that's about all I got for you guys in this video. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, appreciate you guys taking time out of your, your day. I know you're probably busy to, to obviously stop in and check it out. Listen to me ramble on. <laughs> but uh, I, I really appreciate you guys um, supporting the, the channel. We're almost at a thousand subs now. It's been going really fast. Um, I, I'm excited for the things to come. Lots of cool stuff coming your guys' way. So uh, as always, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell. You'll get notified anytime. I have content that goes live. So appreciate you guys as always. And I really hope to see you in the next one.